physics hub like the video subscribe the channel and thank you well i have come to my village and here i don't have sufficient setup to record the video still i am trying my best to upload the sunset video so in this sunset video we are going to record this under sky so it's a new thing hope you will enjoy it and pardon me for my problem and inability to record the video on whiteboard any kind of inconvenience is highly regretted Today is 22nd of December 2019, and in this week's Sunday Witcher video, we are going to discuss five problems from both both Einstein conditions. So we have uh, today five questions. So without wasting much time, let's start. So the first question reads like this: A large number n of ideal bosons, each of mass m, are trapped in a three-dimensional potential field of R equals m omega square r square by t. The bosonic system is kept at temperature t. Which is much lower than the Bose-Einstein uh, condensation temperature Tc. The chemical potential mu satisfies and you are given for us. So the solution of this question can be thought in this way: that you are given the potential mu of R equals to half m omega square. So this is basically three-dimensional harmonic oscillator potential. Therefore, the possible energy uh, for uh, such uh, potential system is given by. E n x n y n z. Here, it is given the potential is given in terms of R. So we have to consider n x n y and n z as well. So the energy becomes n x plus n y plus n z plus three by two into h cut omega, where n x n y n z are zero, one, two, three, any integer number. So if you want to find out the ground state energy, we have to put n x equals to n y equals to n z equals to zero. I mean, we get the ground state energy of a boson. Therefore, the ground state energy becomes c by 2 h cut omega by putting n x n y and n z equals to zero. So your uh, energy is c by 2 h cut omega. Therefore, the chemical potential mu must be lower than c by 2 h cut uh, omega. So mu is less than equal to c by 2 h cut omega, which is matching with the first option. Now uh, you may ask, what is chemical potential? The chemical potential is basically the amount of energy which is released or absorbed. By adding uh, one particle or, sub or by subtract subtracting one particle. Okay, so option one is the uh, correct option for this question. So let's move to the next question, question number two. Which of the following atoms cannot exhibit Bose-Einstein condensation even in principle? Okay, so this problem is a very short problem, but it's a uh, good problem also. So to exhibit the Bose-Einstein condensation, the particle must be a boson. And boson has integral spin. Means okay, so in all the four atoms, we'll check whether the sum of n e, n p, and n n is even or odd. So for the first one h one h one, n p, n e, and n n is one one zero, and the sum produces zero. Uh, sorry, two, and it's an even number. Similarly, for four h two, uh, it is giving the sum to be six, which is also an even number. Then twenty three n eleven, so number of electron. Is eleven uh, number of protons, eleven number of uh, neutrons. It's twenty-three minus eleven is twelve. So the sum of these three things is given thirty-four, which is also an even number. So it uh, it is a boson. And all the three previous cases are uh, example of boson. So they are cap somehow capable of showing both Einstein condensation. But for the last uh, atom, thirty K nineteen, the number of electrons is nineteen, number of protons is nineteen, and number of neutrons is four. 30 minus 19 is 11, so the total of these three things is 49, which is an odd number. So, uh, in theoretical or uh, uh, in theoretical concept also, this atom does not qualify to show Bose-Einstein condensation condition. Okay, so uh, simply we can choose the option D as the correct option. So, 30 K 19 is the atom which do which does not exhibit Bose-Einstein condensation even in principle. Now let's move to the third question. In both Einstein condens in both Einstein condensation, the particles uh, we are given four options. So which one uh, is the correct option among them? So look, uh, the solution of this problem is it's not a numerical problem. So some concept is involved here. Since the interparticle distance between the bosons is comparable to their de Broglie wavelengths. 
their wavelength must overlap. So, uh, in both Einstein condensation, the particles have overlapping wave wave function. So, option C is the correct option for this problem. Let's uh, quickly move to the question number four. An ideal Bose gas in B dimensions obeys the dispersion relation E of k equals a k to the power s, where a and s are constant. For Bose Einstein condensation to occur, the occupancy of excited states is given by n of n equals c into this integral d, where c is a constant and this should remain finite even for m equals to 0. That this can happen if and you are given four options. Okay, how to solve this question? Firstly, the energy dispersion relation is given E of k equals to ak to the power s. Uh, for both addition condensation to occur, the occupancy of the excited states, it is also given in the question, and that is equal to 0 to infinity g e d, where g e is the density of states. Okay, so for uh, mass, massive particles, g of e means density of a state is proportional to e to the power half. So, we can compare the numerator value on both sides. So, g e will be uh, g e is analogous to e to the power d minus s by e to the power beta e minus mu minus uh, 1. So, uh, the only term which is related to e is e to the power d minus s by s. Okay. So, for massive particles g of e equals to e to the power half means d minus s by s equals to half and from here we can extract the value of d by s to be 3 by 2 and for massless particles it is g of e, means the density of state is proportional to e to the power 2, this e is square. So d minus s by s is 2, means d by s equals to 3. So for massless, we are getting 3, for massive, we are getting 3 by 2. In both the cases, we see that this uh, value of d by s is greater than 1 in both the cases. So it is uh, giving you the, it is giving you an idea that d by s is always greater than 1, whether it is massless or massive particle. So option C is the correct option. Let's move to the last question of this set. The question reads like this. Consider an ideal Bose gas in three dimensions with the energy momentum relation E is proportional to P to power S with S greater than 0. The range of S for which the system may undergo a Bose Einstein condensation at non-zero temperature is. Okay, so how to solve this particular problem? So energy is given to the proportional to P to power S. So, you can write it in equal sign equals to a to the power s, where a is a constant, okay? And from here, we can write p equals to e by a 1 to the power to the power 1 by s. That would be p square equals to e by a to the power 2 by s. So, it's basically some uh, calculation of class 12 level. You can easily uh, do that. Still, I have shown you the full calculation uh, uh, by which you can calculate dp. And dp is giving you some expression 1 by s, u by a, 1 by to the power 1 by s minus 1 dE. And from here we can uh, write the density of states g of e d equals to d by h cap d uh, by h q 4 pi p square dp. This is a standard formula we know. Okay. So in the last expression we, we calculated dp and we know uh, d by h cube 4 pi and p is uh, p square is e by a to the power 2 by s. And dp we have find out, we have just replaced the value there and we got an expression of density of states GED equals to 4 pi dy by h 1 by s a to the power c by s e to the power c by s minus 1 d e. Now the number of particles that can be accommodated in all the excited states for both Einstein condensation is given by n of e equals to 0 to infinity g e d divided by to the power beta e minus 1. In the in some of the previous problems, it was given the same expression was given, but there are some constants. But here the exact expression is given to you, and that is equals to uh, 4 pi d by h cube h cube 1 by s to the power c by s, and some integrand value is there. Now in both sides in condensation, the momentum of particles are are zero. Means epsilon its energy is approximately equals to zero. Means at ground state, all the particle must have zero energy. Okay. Now we'll take the values of S, 0, 1, 1, 0, then 1 and 3 and we'll uh, look at the option. So firstly, we are taking S equals to 0. Okay, so if you put S equals to 0, the integral on the right hand side vanishes. Sorry, uh, it blows up. Means 1 by S, so e to the power uh, C minus S by S. If you put S equals to 0, it will, the integral will blow up. So, that is not possible. Let's take for s equals to 1. If you take s equals to 1, 
we may see that zero to infinity e squared d by d over beta u minus one. This integral then is at t e equals to zero because in the denominator becomes zero and it will blow up the whole function. So at zero and at s equals to one, these two are uh, non not possible case or impossible case. For s equals to three, we have zero to infinity d by d over beta u e minus one. And this integral also blow up at e equals to zero. So the range of s for physics system and undergo a Bose-Einstein condensation is that s should remain in between one and three, and it is maximum with option uh, a. So option a is the correct option. Okay. So today in this set we discussed five questions and their detailed solution. I have tried my best to. Uh, to uh, discuss the solutions in great detail, irrespective of this, if you have any confusion, query, or question, you can comment down in the comment section. I will try my best to answer them all. And those who are new here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. And finally, thanks for watching.